Welcome to another video. You will not believe that this saves 10% idle power on this current generation Intel laptops and tablets. As you probably know, all these different devices from wireless to serial ATA, mass storage and so on have all different kind of power saving settings. And I would have never believed that power management on the serial ATA links have such an influence, especially on latest Intel platforms. As it turns out, the Linux kernel by default is using them in some more max performance mode. You can also see this in some virtual SysFS file. Here is SCSI host uh, zero link power management policy, it's max performance. And on this surface, this results in about, so this is like micro amperes or something, so this is 0 0.9 amps right now. Multiplied by the voltage, this is according to power top some over 9 watt idle, more or less. And when we set this to minimum power, this will drop some 10% to only 800 milliamps, which is some... Um, 8 watts or something, always takes a little bit of time to... So this is below some 7 watts here on the surface 3. So with max performance we are idling at some 950 milliamps and with min power we are at some 820 milliamps. 120 from 950 is some nearly 15% saving on this kind of tablets, which is of course quite amazing. If you only have some light workload, this uh, is easily an hour of battery life more. The reason for this is that um, is that this is not only affecting the serial ATA port, but you see here in this idle stats of power tab, which you can also look into the individual virtual Sisyphus files in uh, slash this somewhere. But this power top is presenting them nicely and you see here the CPU threads and here's the CPU cores two cores for threads. It also shows a GPU, but it is irrelevant in this case. And here it shows the whole packages. There's only one CPU package, obviously. And we are only hitting the C2 idle state. And when we switch this to min power, we will see when this updates. So now with the serial ATA link power management enabled, we are hitting the C6 state. So this is not only saving energy on the serial ATA link, but saving way more over a watt in the CPU because now the whole CPU package is going to way deeper sleep states. The reason this is not activated by default is that people found data corruption with this low power states of the serial ATA link waking up and data synchronization or something. And now in the upcoming 4.15 Linux kernel there will be most likely a new setting for this. Mat power with DIPM which sets the bits in the hardware for the PCIe lanes and serial ATA link, supposed to set it exactly like the Intel drivers setting all the hardware register bits on Windows in the hope that this is not causing data corruption anymore because this is like the only combination tested by the hardware vendors. So with this, this change set by the way also applies to 4.14. So my custom built kernel here includes exactly this change set for medium power with the IPM. The power savings are the same. We are still hitting the C6 state half of the time. Current is still 820 something milliamps. So what this is using internally is active state power management of PCI Express lanes and using low power mode for this physical controllers not to be active and thus save power. The reason why this has such a big effect is this is just a symbolic picture I found here with Google. This is just some yesteryear's schematic. And here are the CPU cores and the integrated graphics in case there is one, which in previous times was connected to some source and source bridge for all the I.O. However, for all the highly integrated CPUs now, the serial ATA links and such are all included in the CPU package. So actually Intel has internally implemented all the clocking in a way that if the serial ATA controller and PCI lanes are active, the whole CPU package, because everything is tightly integrated, is not reaching the lowest power states. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, in previous times, historically, the serial ATA link power management would only have saved some hundred milliwatts or something. Now, because it's keeping all the CPU package awake, it's actually saving a whole watt or so. And as I've shown you on the surface, that's a whole watt. Uh, just typing on some text files or something is certainly give you a whole hour of uh, battery life. With the Linux patch description, they state here that this is since the Haswell generation. If you want to read this in detail again, 
You can find this here in the patch at new medium power with the IPM link power management policy setting. Basically you find everything what I explained here just that the 3080 link keeps the whole package awake and such. And for some Lenovo T440S of the author here that is saving like for me over a watt. So I hope you find this tech details interesting and if you use Linux you probably want to look out for such kind of details to achieve the longest battery life and um, if you are Mac on Windows it may still be interesting to know all the technical details and inner workings of these machines. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this internals tech video and don't forget to subscribe for even more of those videos to come.